Hello Divination and welcome. We have a brand new four part mini series for you. In this mini series, we'll be building a product review site using Extra. The goal of this mini series is to provide you with creative ideas which you can use in your own project. So, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive into our mini series. Okay, so here we are in our final parts of our mini series, which is part four. So uh, if you'd like to follow along step by step, we are going to be using some CSS code. So I will link to the page in the show notes below. So the first thing we're going to do is to start off with the category builder. So we are going to design the uh, default category. So I'm just going to come over here and click on edit. So the first thing we need to do when we get to this uh, default category page, we need to make sure that uh, the layout usage, usage here, you select use this layout as default layout. So what we're going to do here is we're going to delete the featured post slider and we're going to add the post carousel. So we're going to come over here and select current category. Okay, so with that set, let's go ahead and save. Now we also need to add... Oh, in fact, we need to drag this to the top. So what we also need to do is to add some CSS code to style our H1 tags. So to do that, I'm just going to click on update on this page. And then we're going to come over here to extra, click on theme customizer. And then we're going to come all the way to the bottom here where, where there is additional CSS. Click on that, scroll all the way to the bottom and paste your CSS code. Once you're done with that, click on save and publish. So I'm just going to close out of this. And then we're going to go to our main page and take a look at our default category page. Okay, so I've opened this in a new tab. So I'm going to come over here and click on kitchen. And you'll notice that um, this is now different. And this is our default category layout. And you can see here the CSS code that we just added is now showing this in nice bold text. So we come over here to electronics, same thing. We have this layout which displays everything that we need in each category. So now it's time to create our menu. So what, so what we need to do is to come over here to Appearance and then click on Menus. So we're going to create a brand new menu. So we're going to come over here and click on Create a new menu. Give the menu a name. So I'm just going to call this Categories. And then over here to, to the right, I'm going to click on Create Menu. And then what we need to do here is to make sure that we select primary menu because this is what enables us to have this menu that we're creating as the main menu for the website. And then all you have to do now is to come over here to the categories and then select all these categories like that and then click on add to menu. So now all the categories are in our in our um, menu structure. And also just one quick tip, you can also rearrange these you know, the way you want them just by clicking and dragging. Now the next thing we're going to do here is a bit um, interesting because we're going to add colors to these menus. So in order for us to do that, we need to activate the uh, CSS. So to do that, we're going to come over here to Screen Options and then make sure that CSS Classes is checked. Once you've done that, just click back and then that just closes. Okay, so let's start by adding our CSS Classes. So I'm going to come over here, click on Electronics, click this drop down. So here we're going to add our first color, which is green. And then for our extra mega menu, we are going to select mega menu three featured. Okay, so go ahead and do the rest by giving uh, these colors and also by selecting the, um, the extra mega menu as three featured. Okay, so now I've added all the colors and also the uh, mega menu. So I'm going to click on save. So what I want to do next is to add a custom link and we're going to call this custom link all categories. So I'm just going to add a blank link to this. I'm going to click on add to menu. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add all these categories here under the all categories. So I'm going to come back here, click on all these categories, click on add to menu. So now I'm just going to make these as a sub menu of all categories. So next, we're going to use a custom image to show as we click our drop-down menu. Right, so what we're going to do next here is we are going to add a, an image to each category instead of just having this text. So to do that, we're going to add the CSS code right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to upload all our images here for each category. And we are going to go into our media library to get the URL 
to the image that we're going to paste in here. Now, the image size is, needs to be 500 by 300 pixels. So let me show you how to do that. So right now, I've added my CSS code. I'm going to click on Save Menu. And then I'm going to go into my Media Library. And these are all the images that we have in our media library. So what you need to do here is to select your image. So let's say, for example, this is the image that we need. And obviously, it needs to be cropped to 500 by 300 pixels. So this is the link to the URL. Okay, this is what we're going to need. So I've just copied that. I'm going to close this. Then I'm going to go back to my menu. And then right here, I'm going to click this drop down to add to edit this. So here where it says insert image URL, this is where we need to paste the URL. So now that I've pasted it, I'm going to click on save menu. And then we're going to take a look at our website. So you can see now that when I come to all categories, this category now has an image on it. So you need to go ahead and do this to the rest of the categories. So now that we have all these as the main uh, categories, what we need to do is to add the, the other ones right below them. So I'm just gonna collapse these. Okay, so what we need to do next, now that we have an image for each category, now we need to add the items under each category. So how it will look is, the image will have the uh, the category will have the main image and then it will have items below it. So now I'm going to come over here to posts and then we're going to start adding all our posts below each category. So here we have, in fact, I'll just select all these and we're going to add them to the menu and just drag them into position. So our first one is health and fitness. So all you have to do here is to drag the items that go into the health and fitness category like that and then if it's kitchen it's going to be kitchen knives so go ahead and do this okay so finally i'm just going to add the last ones right so as you can see each category has items below it so so this is roughly what it needs to look like Okay, so once we're done with that, we're not completely done because we have some CSS code we need to add in order to style this. So for now, we're going to click on Save Menu, and then we're going to go to Additional CSS to add our CSS code. So I'm going to come over here to Extra, click on Theme Customizer, and then we're going to click on Additional CSS. So right now, if I, if I click on this, we can see that... Um, uh, this is now showing the items below it, but this is not how we want it to show, hence the addition of the CSS code. So I'm going to come over here and add my CSS code. And by the way, if you'd like to um, use the CSS code, I will link to the post in the show notes below. So I'm going to click on Save and Publish. So now that we've saved and published, let's take a look and see if our categories are working. So if I come over here to Health and Fitness, you can see now that we have all our items here. And if I come to kitchen, electronics, and clothing, and so on. So all this is working fine. Okay, so now we're done with our menu. What we need to do is to set our footer menu. So we're going to come over here, click on Theme Customizer. And then we're going to come over here to Footer Settings. So next, we're going to click on Layout, and we're going to select a two-column layout. So we're going to come over here and select this one. So we're going to go back, and we're going to click on Typography. And we're going to do some adjustments here. So for our header text size, we're going to set this to, to 32. And for our text size here, we're going to set it to 16. So for our widget text color, we are going to add a, an RGBA value, which I've just pasted in here. So for our widget link color, this is fine at white. And then for our widget heading color, this also needs to be set to white. Like that. And then we're going to click on Save and Publish. Okay, so now that we have all these settings, we need to add our widgets. So we're going to go back a few steps, click on Widgets, click on Footer sidebar left, and then click this plus button to add a widget. So the widget that we're going to add here is Extra Recent Reviews. So I'm going to click this one here to add my widget. So as I'm scrolling down here, you can see now that it's added to our footer. So we're going to Save and Publish. And then we're going to choose the one for the right sidebar. So we're going to come over here, click on footer right, 
add the widget. And for this one, we're going to add categories. So I'm going to click on categories. So we're going to go ahead and save and publish. And now it's time to add our CSS. So we're going to come over here back a few, a few steps. Click on additional CSS. So this CSS now is going to do all our styling. So now that I've added it, you can see it's a subtle change, but um, it has made this look really, really nice. Okay, so pretty much we have our CSS. I'm going to click on Save and Publish, and we're just going to do a one final uh, preview of our website. So I'm just going to refresh here, and um, now this is our complete site. If I come over here, we can see that all our categories are looking fine. And uh, as I scroll down here, all our sections are all styled. And when I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, we can see that we have our footer area. We have our recent reviewed items. So every time you review an item on your website, it will be shown here. And then here we also have the category. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.